And I'm back. If it's still too dark for you, well, sorry. I can't really make it that bright. Well, it may look very bad. So, yeah. Where am I? Turn four? God. This is a bad spot to place to continue, eh? There's a little I can do in this position. Still though, those are the guys, so... Play my cards right, I might be able to win. God damn you horrifyingly bad weaponry! Ordinary! Critical hit. Good shot. Where are their weapons? Now they would be good for the water. Should have sent them over there. There's an enemy right here. And there. No way to get lower anywhere even remotely near them. That's for you. Mow you down a bit. Just a tad. Ooh, almost all the way. Okay, right in. Ignore everything. Like a boss. I hit with the god boomerang. If I lowered the brightness, it's at neutral, but still. Level up! Muncher. Smash. Mass mortar. That would engaged. Oh, Muncher. You're in bad condition. Still one trust the heal you up enough to take a hit. That's pretty much all this thing's good for. Two trusts left. Watch a nice HP recovery, and he's kicking. So yeah, I'm probably going to have to restart the whole level to actually win. <laughs> Ow. Thought I was not in range there. Heal Muncher. You 
take care of that. Okay, that leaves three targets. Ooh, I can use the Godu Bird or on them. Quite nice. Quite nice indeed. Now, ooh, that's some low, low HP, man. It's the same type of beam rifle, beam rifle as monsters. I'd believe so. Well, since it did more than 15, it is. Yeah. Okay, they're both pretty much not damaged. Harry's. Harmless. I know one bloom and space out my range. Fan freaking tastic. Gotta bada failure. Wow, they're really tough to kill. And they're so far away. What a nuisance to deal with. I just had more, one more, two more mil if I could have won it. Just a little bit more. Alright, alright. Oh, damn you, water! You just ruin everything! Making all my attacks warrantless. You make the enemies nigh invincible. Well, that's it for. <coughs> Are you ready for a fresh failure? Because I know, I know I am. Wow, even the lag knows it's a failure. Smart lag. to pitifully attack. Failures, failures. Decisions, decisions. Maybe I could do this. Oh, got to think about it. Nope, you do not fix so. Pointless valor. 
You guys are trying to do absolutely nothing. We're out of range of two weapons, I can actually hold them. Okay, it's back to feeling hopeless again. Yeah, Saku too, yeah. I think it's too bulky to die from that. Do you have quite a bit of HP? I have bunker. Sadly though, that couldn't destroy it. Just much too weak. That was a bit less pathetic than I expected. Keyword being a bit, but still. If you could have got a critical, I might have won. Still, with a lot of luck, this strategy could potentially win. I guess you could say that. And Zaku two dies. Unnecessary critical. Level up. Oh, psychic level three. He's at level 19, eh? Okay. Oh, I'm ready for the failure. Wait, eh? You're attacking Monsha. The guy who can kill you. Thank you, stupid AI. So much. Oh, yeah. Crash! Whoa, look out, what are you doing? Let me handle this. Die! What the hell? This wasn't in the script. You die, bitch. Wow. Thank you, convenient suicide. Your Majesty, the enemy has done the unthinkable and attacked someone who can actually fight back. Huh? And the damage to Nox? Things ended with minimal damage to City. And I hereby pro prohibit the Diana Carrot from engaging, engaging in combat. But Your Majesty, the ones who attacked the Solel were the militia. We let them get by with using peace negotiations as cover for assassination. Milan, did you hear me? I issued an order in the name of Diana Sorel. Yes, Your Majesty. They also have the Sorel run return to the garrison. <laughs> the Sorel left. <laughs> if I can get shot to this now, it'll be all over tomorrow's morning news. Oops. We mustn't start a war on the earth. I skipped something. Why is... Why? That's... Lauren. Lauren? Yeah, she looks like a girl, but the one right in the white doll is Lauren. What's Lauren doing piling a mobile suit in a dress? The 
Lieutenant Post returned. All you have to come out to sack on the rain militia squad members. <coughs> well, Lieutenant Powell fighting to prohibit it. They tried to kill Lady Diana. You're saying we should let them go? Lady Diana says no combat is allowed. That trumps all of our orders. But, but, sir. If you're, if you're spoiled for a fight, we'll give you one. Ed Moore should go back to where they came from. Barbarians use negotiations as a pretext to go after Diana. You got sacked us first. You've got no right to say that. Those guys back there were really with the moon race, weren't they? Well, what did you say? We seriously attacked you. You piss ants would be. We're all, we're all the same, but yet, why must we keep? Lauren, what's the matter? I, I can't. Lauren's acting kind of odd. He, he's, no, Lauren, don't. Oh, I, I can't take, oh, I can't take this anymore. Come on, Steve, I Lauren, oh, hell. Everyone, I am, I am from the moon race. I'm from the moon race! Dot. Exclamation! Th that's. Laurent! With the moon race here? You're too up front, Laurent. I should have won two years ago. But I'll fight the moon and our people. I'll fight anyone who doesn't value human life. Battle mastery gets. Or skill point, wherever you are, Carly. Oh, we don't do any more fighting. Yeah. Consul Milan, how's Lady Diana? Resting in her room, the sister has pained her heart. Also, Lady Diana desires a meeting with Kihel Haim, Gwen Reinfort's secretary. <laughs> Kihel Haim? Lady Diana's lookalike? Since it's made Lady Diana realise the necessity of getting an understanding of the air noise mentality. I see, she plans to hear the state of the air through Miss Kihel. Also, about the militia forces that attacked Knox. Moonrace communication terminals were found in the cockpits of the down machines. Now as we feared. Yes, it was not the militia or the who set up the attack. It was the Moonrace. But our Diana countered no such mobile suits. And the possibility is that man. Jim Gingham? Or possibly the suggestion of Agrippa Maintainer. <coughs> Hmm? <coughs> so they sought to take Lady Diana's life from their haven on the moon. They could fear her making contact with Arthur Rank. Lady Diana aware of this? She's slowly realising it. And Flora is of the moon race. Gwen will eventually learn the truth of this as well. There is no Laura Rolla in our roster of people who went to air two years ago. Tin Harry. Contact Gwen and bring Key Helheim to the Soleil. We'll be certain to return her to Gwen as soon as Lady Diana's business is completed. We can't let them find out we're lacking in reliable information after all. Roger that. <laughs> Lieutenant Poe, Lieutenant Commander Phyllis calling. Roger. Don't tell me. It's a ten year imprisonment? Seventeen years. Yes, sir. <laughs> no, no. Yes, sir. <laughs> With the Tyria. We're short-handed, so we can't afford to do that. As punishment, take command over the supplies that have been brought from the moon. Y yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. <coughs> what is it? Mobile suits? There weren't supposed to be any mobile suits sent from the moon this time. Woo! The Earth's gravity is pretty invigorating. That that man is. You know him, sir? He should have been in a military prison, serving a cryo slumber sentence. A cryo slumber sentence? So someone gets frozen for a hundred years, with their senses still left intact. Yo, which one of you was Lieutenant Commander Phil? That would be me. I'll need a place to crash here from now on. 
Look forward to working with you. Oh, and that white moustache mobile suit was got for my trophy. And don't you guys try to stop me. For a moment, like Lady Diana has forbidden all combative action. What kind of wussy crap is this? We can roll right over him and end this whole thing. Not going to happen. Just so you know, there's a bunch of reinforcements being gathered on the moon. You can just think of me as an appetizer before the main dish. What? Lady Diana's ordered no such thing. It's cause Diana's taken so friggin' long that the moon's getting more hardline. Who would act so brazenly? A group of maintainer, probably. What? How dare you utter such things so loudly? Don't get all cheeky after you ask the friggin' question to start with. Jeez, friggin' Phil. Friggin' Frigger. Don't be ridiculous. He's the very representative of the moderates. Dunno, don't care. I just want to crush that white moustache suit to a pulp. Let me see the blood, mate. Lauren, you liar! <coughs> M-Milady! How dare you! You've tricked me and my sister both up and until today! Sochi. Miss Sochi, leave it at that. Why, Sir Gwen? It's the most unforgivable thing you could do, besides. What is it? We've been relying on someone from the very planet we're fighting to protect us. It's an insult. But the fact remains, you're, you'd be in a lot more trouble if it weren't for Laron. Such awful support. You're sure awful supporter of him. Maybe you're at the moon race too. Little. Little woman, ooh. Take wherever you want. Aren't Earth Noise and the Moon Race both human? <gasps> <coughs> Laurent's working hard to keep war from breaking out between the Earth and the Moon. Surely you could at least recognize that. <coughs> Milady. Sochi. Two for B for now. I should understand, given time. <coughs> yes. My lord, we've gotten a transmission for the moon race. What? Is it about resumption of negotiations? No, sir. Diana Sorrel wants to have a meeting with your secretary, Kihel Hain. The queen of the moon race wants to meet with me? She's got off an angle here. Don't tell me it's because Kihel looks just like her. Or could it be to get a hostage? They say they guarantee her safety. Once the business is finished, they'll return her, her hair immediately too. This could trigger the reopening of negotiations. Miss Kihel, may I ask this of you? <coughs> Alright. <coughs> your, in your unease is understandable, but it would be nice if you could relax a bit more. Lady Diana, the recent attack wasn't. I know, it was not the militia. It is my intent to resume the negotiations with Lord Gwen. I called her here today to speak with you about the earth before doing that. Let's fill up, ladies. Let us share some tea. Yes, ma'am. Lee Diana, are you left handed? No, I am your mirror image. Oh, Lee Diana. We seem to look very much alike, do we not? What a surprise! I was just thinking the same thing. Kihel, why don't we try switching outfits? Me? Wearing your clothing, Lady Diana? Well, you do have some differences, like the way your hair is. Same colour, similar, but they're still cold now. Doesn't it sound like fun, please? Yes, ma'am. Oh my! Really look exactly the same. Still not looking upon myself. Milan, I shall now go and attend the inspection. I shall will. Ha 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 
<laughs> You're quite good, Ducky Hill. Oh, they changed their hairstyles too. Hey, Diana, has been lonely. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> it's Consul Milan. Given the time, I have come to pick up Misky Hill. Enter. Hey, Diana. From now on, you should be Diana Sorrel. I must try being Kihel Haim. It's pretty odd, but I want to do this. Oh dear, what would happen if we were to be found out? That happens, we just apologize together, can we not? Now, Lady Diana, Consul Milan is waiting. They look too alike there. They, the, mind, the difference is that they completely copied. I can use the bazaar now. The Monchinator needs some boost, man. <laughs> like a boss. Ah, you're fine, you are right now, right in. Anyway, save. Ah, oh, the Battle Master's getting pretty hard. I've had to try this and the one before twice to get it. Well, bye.